Blogging in Schoology is very easy. Uh, to do this, you can click on your name, go to your profile here, and you will see blog down below. And if I click on that, you will see that I have some blog posts here. Previous blog posts, I can edit them or unpublish them or delete them. I also can view by date uh, published. To create a new blog post, I click on the words create post. From there, I need to give my blog post a title and give it a body. Within this, I also have all my rich text editing. I can also do subscripts and uh, superscripts and strike throughs. I can also align text, add links. I can also insert images, links, symbols, equations, and even higher end equations. I can also insert tables, check my spelling, uh, add different paragraph types, and adjust my font size. I can also upload files, files from my resources, or embed audio and video recordings recorded right from Schoology itself. If I do have a Twitter or Facebook account, I can post this directly to those also. When I'm all done, I'm going to hit Save Changes, and you'll see that my blog post called Title will show right there. Uh, if I go back to my blog by clicking on Blog, you can see that my latest blog post is at the top. Now, nobody can see this unless they have a Schoology account. If I'd like to make this uh, blog public to people that do not have a Schoology account, I can go here to Privacy, and then I can make my blog public to everybody. Or I can make it to just people in the district, people in my school, just people connected to me, or I can write all by myself and no one can see it. The two typical choices are just the parents that have accounts or everyone. Some teachers like to choose this because their audience is larger than the parents of their students. Again, this is a decision that you make based on your own teaching uh, philosophy and um, communication style. When you're all done, hit Save Changes, and those changes will be saved. In order to view my blog from the outside as a parent or another educator, you would simply need to have the correct URL address. Again, notice that it's schoology.com slash user and your ID number slash blog. I can help you generate these uh, if needed. In order to subscribe to the blog, though, and get email notifications, you'd have to, the user would have to click on this button that says subscribe to blog. From there, the person would either need to log in with their credentials or sign up. Now, that's not necessary to receive, this is only necessary to receive email notifications. Otherwise, they can frequently check your blog by bookmarking this URL.